Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up an offline Wikipedia data store on a Mac using Kiwix. So I've made some other videos on Kiwix. I've set it up on an iPhone, Android. Um, I set it up on a server in Docker, a bunch of different uh, ways that you can access this. But I hadn't done uh, Mac and Windows yet, so I thought I'd make some Mac and Windows videos. So the first thing I need to do is go to the Kiwix website, and I'll put a link in the description of that. It's kiwix.org. And you go to Downloads and then go to Reader. And if you scroll down, you'll see the Mac version down here. It says Mac OS. I'll click on Kiwix for Mac OS. So that should download pretty quick. So while that's downloading, the next thing you want to do is go to Downloads and then Content. And then on the left side here, you'll see Available ZIM Files. You want to scroll down to where it says Kiwix Wiki. And there are a lot of different uh, Wikipedia files on here. There's all sorts of languages. There's subsets, so you can get like a medical version. You can get, I think there's one maybe for science or math. I don't know. There's lots of them on here. The one I like is called Simple. Um, no pick. Let's see if I can find it. It's this one right here. It's 443 megabytes. It's uh, simple, so it has abbreviated articles on it, and then it has um, no pictures. So this is about 443 megabytes. So you can click over on the right side here on download or BitTorrent, and you can download it to your device. I've already downloaded this one. It's in my downloads folder. So I'll go to the reader now. It should be downloaded. I'll open it up. And then I'll drag Kiwix to my application folder. I'll open the application folder up and I'll look for it. And then I'll open it. I'll click open. So I can close these other windows now. Okay, so now we have the Kiwix reader open. We can go to open file. And we can choose the ZIM file we want. So I'll open up this Wikipedia English uh, simple all no pick. I'll hit open. And now we have Wikipedia running. So you can also add others. I'll click on the little folder up here, and I can add Ray Charles too. So Ray Charles is on there. That's a kind of sample one. It's only five megabytes. So if you want to play around with this before you download a 457 megabyte file, you could uh, download the smaller version to test it out. So on the left here, you see we have our different Wikipedias that we've downloaded. You can hit this little icon here to hide that. And then we have tabs. So you can add a new tab, so you can look up multiple things at a time. So let's look something up here. You can look up Abraham Lincoln. Okay, so I can click on this. So I did have some trouble here getting this to work. There, it worked on the second one. I'm not sure why, but uh, it did work eventually. So, and then you can use the arrows, you can navigate back and forward. I don't know what forward's doing. So, um, I didn't find this to be as polished as the website version. So, on the website version, you can do search and everything. It has a little dice to do random lookup, which I think is kind of neat. If you're bored, you can just pull it up and hit random and then go to random articles. This does have a full screen mode here. So, let's look up uh, Buick. That came up okay. This is working a little better. So maybe that was just a fluke. Maybe it was doing some kind of indexing in the background. Let's try that Abraham Lincoln again. Yeah, it seems to be working a little bit better now. I don't know why it's coming up twice in the search, but. So doing something like this would be useful if you want a copy of it on site in case your internet goes down or maybe you're living off grid or you travel and you want to have all this information, you could use it in survival situations if you had it. So you could look for uh, plants that are safe to eat, first aid things. Um, certainly it's not the best resource for all of those things, but you can uh, have everything on here. So, so say if you need to learn how to tie a knot. Of course, these don't have pictures of the knots. Like if I look up a square knot here. So yeah, see that didn't work there. I don't know why. <laughs> Look up Reef Knot. Reef Knot's the same thing. Of course, this is the simple version too. So this doesn't have any pictures and it doesn't tell you how to do it. But um, the larger versions would tell you that kind of information. So I tend to prefer the versions that are hosted on a server that you can put on a Raspberry Pi or I have one on my Synology NAS device. I think those are a little bit neater. 
But uh, this is an option if you want to use it to get Wikipedia on your device. You could put it on a kid's computer too and then shut off the internet access and then they could still access uh, encyclopedia type data on their device. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.